What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with chemistry and math questions, start now by subscribing this channel and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, I want to name five different aldehydes uh, that have more than one carbonyl groups. So we have five molecules, as you see here, we have the carbonyl group connects to hydrogen. So that's why we have aldehyde. Same here, we have aldehyde. Same here as well, here too, and here as well. All of them are aldehyde, but we have more than one carbonyl group. Let's see how to name them. Start numbering it. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. So here we have four carbon aldehydes. We have aldehyde, and here we have ketone, but here it's going to be substituent. So we're going to have three oxa butanol. So the ketone here is a substituent. So it's going to be three oxa butanol because we have four carbon and it ends with AL because we are dealing with aldehydes. You know, whenever we have aldehyde and it connects to a branch of carbon, we have this suffix, which is AL. What about next one? Next one, here we have aldehyde group and here we have carboxylic acid because the carbon connects to OH. So we have carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid is the only one which is more prior compared to aldehyde. So that's why I need to start numbering from this side. One, two, and three. So I'm going to have three oxo pro panoic acid or there is another naming here we can consider these two carbon and have this one as formal group so whenever we have aldehyde we can consider it as the substituent and we can call it as formal so it's going to be two formal so whenever aldehyde acts as a substituent we call it formal two formal ethanoic acid this is going to be another name for this organic compound. Next one, we have aldehyde, ketone, and we have hydroxy. We need to start numbering from here. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have oxo and we have hydroxy. Hydroxy comes first. So it's going to be four hydroxy, three oxo, and we have pentanol. Again, ends with AL, the suffix for aldehyde. Next one, as you see here, we have one aldehyde functional group here and another one in this side. So I'm going to have one, two, three, and four carbon. So I'm going to call it butane diol. Why? Because we have two aldehyde groups from both sides. One, two, three, four. Butan diol is going to be the name of this organic compound. Next one, <clears throat> again, we have two from both sides, aldehyde group, and we have another one in here. So one, two, three, and four. So, but here, the aldehyde connects to the second carbon is going to be a substituent. So I'm going to call it two. We had it before, 4 mil. It's going to be 4 mil. Butane diol. That's going to be the name of this one. So this aldehyde acts as a substituent. So it's going to be 2 4 mil. And we have 4 carbons, butane and diol, because we have 2 aldehyde groups from both sides on the main branch. I will leave some related videos in description in case you need extra help. Just take a look to the description. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.